Welcome to another episode from KimMcGillis.com. Today I'm here to share a card called Thank You for Your Friendship and it features the Flight and Airy DSP that is part of the Celebration uh, Catalog. So when you order customers or demonstrators a $60 order, uh, you get to, you can select this beautiful Flight and Airy DSP. Um, it comes in a 12 by 12 format and I really, really love the color combination. And this is what guided me to choose this color combination for today. But I love uh, the birds themselves, they're gorgeous. And then you have that basic color on the opposite side. And I designed four cards with it, so my my paper has already been used quite a bit just because um, I love it so much. So I do like the pinkish tones with this one, or even we could say like a bubble bat tone mixed with fresh freesia. And then we have this darker blue tone right here. Um, then you have a different patterns of birds that you could fussy cut if you want or just apply in the background and today we are going to be using this beautiful paper so lots of options um, different tones even in the pinks and blue so um, and the last one that's hidden right here I love it too and I did use it on one of my cards um, just because it's so pretty um, it has kind of that shabby chic look which I, I love so I'm focusing on four basic colors bubble bat fresh freesia boho blue and misty moonlight so just this color combination when I designed my cards I was just in love right away so let's get started. I don't know if you get to see on my corner here, but the papers are listed and so you could grab a snap, um, pick with your phone, whichever, and then just enlarge it if you want. Um, I did use basic white. It's a four and a quarter sheet by 11 that I scored at five and a half. And then you'll need another piece that is four by five and a quarter and then one scrap piece to cut this uh, portion part and then with the flight and airy you'll need a piece that is three and three quarters by four and three quarters and then you'll need that bird piece design so you could choose any one of them from the pack of DSP I chose this big large bird here with lots of flowers and stuff and then I also uh, use the in color 2023-2025 12 by 12 luster specialty paper. And um, I focused on the boho blue, so it's this little piece here. You can't probably see it, but it has like a nice shimmery look. So I wanted like a long greeting, so I went with the perennial postage uh, stamp set because it does have multiple long greetings and that's what I was looking for for this design. And that is part of the new mini catalog uh, running from January to uh, April and it's on page 25. It also has coordinating dies that I will be using for another future project with this entire collection. Um, so they're kind of great to have as well. Um, I also used from the celebration catalog on page 14, I believe. Yes. So it does include uh, the Softly Sophisticated Bundle, which is this beautiful, softly, it's called actually the same thing, Softly Sophisticated uh, Embossing Folder. I didn't use the greetings. You can if you want. It's just I was looking for that long look. But if ever you do, this is um, free with a $125 order because you're getting both. So it's like, it is stunning. Um, so that's optional. And I do have them here for you just to show what they look like. And they are available in French if you are one of my French customers. So it's kind of nice. So let's get this going. Let's work on our card. Um, I'll just set this part aside here and 
this over right here. I'm gonna leave the measurements though uh, right here for you. So um, that first piece, just gonna use a stamping cut and embossing folder and I like to place it just on the line of the Stampin' Up at the base right here to make it like straight, right? Like, like this. And um, we're gonna use our plate number one with plate number four. Our little well to emboss actually our piece I'm gonna set my plate aside and here we have it. this piece I use I just simply use dimensionals to mount on my pre-folded car base and the embossed piece is the four by five and a quarter Following that, I took my flight and airy piece of DSP, and it is quite wider than usual. Normally, you know, I'll try to balance them off, but I really wanted to show off the piece of paper. So this is the one that is three and three quarters by four and three quarter. Try to just center it on, let's try this again, like this. And I really want to show around that beautiful embossed portion as well as this one. I then went into my go-to, I love this Callop contour dies, so they are part of the annual catalog. See, they've been loved, and the portion that I'm using will be this one. It's the number two from that collection. We're going to be die cutting a piece of with the basic white, so that's why you needed that scrap piece. So I'm going to go ahead and add my plate number two and go with my plates three, and um, we are going to go ahead and cut this beautiful piece. There we go, so super simple here. And now you see on my background, I have this beautiful glass mat that when you sign up as a demonstrator, you can get this uh, for free. Um, we are lucky, uh, since we're demonstrators, we got to pre-order it and it's just simply amazing. I love it, I feel more organized. I'm like a crazy stamper. I am very messy when I stamp, like I scattered everywhere. So this keeps me aligned <laughs> to stay on my plate. Uh, and it has so many great features. So it's a value of $82. So when you get the starter kit, if you're starting to craft, it's kind of a nice gift to receive. So I highly recommend it. It also comes with a cleaning cloth and it has this beautiful silicone that keeps me organized. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using um, my blending brush with the Misty Moonlight ink. And I'm just gonna go here off 
on my glass mat. And then I am going to add some blue right here. And the reason that I went off on the mat first is because I didn't want those blotchy pieces. I wanted to blend perfectly. So this is a great way to do it like while you go in there. And you could always go back and go get that bluish color. Um, and then I just added it a little bit here and there and you could go at the bottom as well. Now for my next tip, I always get a question about it. It's the spritzer. The spritzer is um, an old tool that Stampin' Up! used to sell and I always like to splatter some ink. So if you do not have this spritzer, no worries. Do you know why? Because you could do the same thing with the blends. So, and the markers are not sold separately, but the blends are, so it might be a good option for you. I have both markers and blend because I love crafting with Stampin' Up! products, but um, it's optional. But if you don't have that spritzer like me, what I suggest is you just use your blend, and this is the light, uh, misty moonlight, and you just tap with your um, bone folder and it does pretty much the same thing. So those are two different options. If ever um, you don't have this spritzer tool because you're not an old demonstrator like I am. So, so that's a good option. And I like tapping with this because I find it just protects the, my fingers instead of snapping directly on it. So, and again, you could just mount it directly with some uh, your favorite adhesive, but I am just making this card <laughs> stand out, and I decided to um, to do the dimensionals here once again. So up to you. I've already posted the card on my blog. You have the list of all the supplies. There we go, and you see why I went wider just just because I wanted to see the entire beautiful layout. Now I did already fussy cut this piece to not bore you <laughs> but I do want to provide you a couple of tips and so it comes from this beautiful paper that from the Flight and Airy. What I want to suggest is if you're not a fan of fussy cutting, um, I suggest that you move the paper around when you're cutting. Not your scissors that goes around, but really the paper itself. So that's one of the tips that I find it just, just flows better and your, your cuts are a lot better as well. So kind of simple and easy, but you do want to try to make the paper move around instead of the scissors themselves. So, and then we're just gonna add again some dimensionals. I'm gonna go with the little bones of the dimensionals here for smaller pieces, just cause I wanna add some a little bit everywhere. And then I think for this last piece will be good. Voila. And now I'm just gonna add my little birdie right here. He's, he's adorable. Adorable, adorable. And then um, we're gonna go with our wish. I feel like it needs a little bit of support there as well. So before we create our greeting, I just wanna add one little piece right there. There you go. And another one here. There. Ah, now I'm much happier. You see, it looks great. I think by adding that uh, misty moonlight ink just in the background just changes totally this card and what's amazing too is you could take the clot that's provided with the kit but you could just clean your your space once again 
So that is done here. So now I'm gonna go with my in color Luster Specialty Paper in Boho Blue. And I'm gonna set my card aside. I'm gonna pull these in right here, but we are gonna go right here. I'm gonna use my little embossing buddy to remove the static. And I am using the greeting, which is from the perennial postage. Thank you for your friendship. And we are going to ink it up with some Versamark. There you go. And we're going to add some white embossing. is your heat tool just to come and heat set it here um, to prevent the noise on this video I've already done one already here I know it's kind of cool to see the transformation but I just wanted um, to prevent from you hearing that big noise so let's grab some mini glue dots all of them because I guess I skipped some of them okay and then let's just add the greeting right here perfect and then we're gonna add some embellishments super important to have some cute embellishments I'm going with the basic pearls and I do have some leftover from uh, past paper pumpkin kits. So I'm just going to grab these right here. Trying to be super productive by using what I have and not opening it like a new pack. So I like to go in odd numbers. So we're going to do three. One this little guy this one's a bit higher so we're gonna go about down here for this one there we go right here and then we're gonna use some of the twine if you have white ribbon or different colors of ribbon you could do that as well I'm just gonna go with the basic twine right here And I'm double looping. Let's fluff that bow and separate them a little bit. Here we go. And you just want to pull pretty tight. Okay, let's find one other mini glue dot. And then our card is done. So aside from the fussy cutting, the project is pretty simple. You do have lots of beautiful layers, which is very exciting, and I love truly adding layers to my card, but here we go. I'm just going to snip these two pieces right here, but it, that's it. It's done. So let me pull this aside, and then you get to see both of them right here. So stay tuned, there is gonna be some options for uh, multiple cards. Um, you wanna probably uh, follow me just to see my Facebook Live. There is gonna be a beautiful offer uh, with coordinating. When I start with a collection, I always wanna create multiple projects. And with this, um, this beautiful flight and airy paper, I just couldn't stop. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.
please comment and write likes. I really like to read your comments. It's just showing me that you want more. So um, don't forget to share as well. Bye-bye.